Hello and welcome to another Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I am going to show you how to quickly sort by length in Excel, which means sort by the length of the text characters in the cell. So here I have these names and I want to sort these names so that I have the shortest name at the top and the longest name at the bottom. And I'm going to show you two really simple ways to do it. So the first method is by using the regular sort method, but for that we will have to create a helper column so that we can first get the length of each name and then sort based on it. So let me type the word helper here. So this becomes our helper column and I'm going to use the len function to get the length of all these names. So the len function is going to give me how many characters are there in each cell. And now I can copy this down. So this is the data that I get. Now I can simply sort this. So I would select this data. I would go to the data tab and here I would click on the sort icon. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt A S S. And now here I'm going to click on my data has headers if it is not clicked already. And then I'm going to sort by the helper column and I want my order to be smallest to largest because I want the shortest name to be at the top. So now when I click OK, it would instantly sort this data based on the helper column. And you can see I have the shortest name at the top and the longest name at the bottom. So this is one quick way to do this. Now let me show you another method, which is using a simple formula method. So here I have these names and I'm going to use a new function in Microsoft 365, which is the sort by function. So if you do not have this function, then you would have to use the len plus sort method that I showed earlier. But if you have the sort by function, then you do not even need to use the sort functionality. You can actually do this very, very quickly. So here I'm going to enter the sort by function. This is my array. This is the array that I want to sort. Then I need to give the criteria based on which I want to sort. And that criteria is the length of uh, the characters in the cell. So I'm going to use the length function here. And again, select this entire thing. So what this does is it gives me the length of all these names. So I want to sort these names based on their uh, length. And then I want to sort it in an ascending order. And now when I hit enter, it would instantly fill all these cells with the desired output. So I have the shortest name at the top and the longest name at the bottom. Now, a couple of things you need to know when you're using the sort by function, which is an array function. So it actually took array and the output is also an array. I only entered the function here in cell B2. It spilled and filled all these cells with the output. Now, when you're using a function like sort by, which is an array function, you will not be able to delete or edit specific cells. So in this case, if I just want to delete this cell and I try and delete, it is not going to do that. It is not going to allow me to do that. Also, you will not be able to change anything. If I try and change anything, it is not going to work. It is going to show me the spill error if I try and do that. So what you can do is in this case, if you do not want this formula, you just want the values, you can convert this into values instead of the formula. So you copy this, then you right click on this, go to paste special and here you click on values and then click OK. So now these have been converted into values. If you want, you can delete individual cells or you can edit it. So this formula is, to be honest, the fastest way to quickly sort by length. But if you do not have the formula, then you can use the length plus sort method, which is by adding a helper column. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.